Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tackling an issue that's become increasingly common for many Etsy sellers and creatives like us, finding our original designs being sold on other platforms without our permission. Specifically, I'll share one of my recent experiences finding one of my best sellers on Timu. It's so disheartening seeing your hard work and creativity being exploited like this. And I want to guide you through the steps that I took to address this issue and how you can protect your own shop. But before we continue, just a quick reminder to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos, which is a 100% way to help support my content. First off, when I found my design in Timu, I immediately reached out to Timu directly by filling out a form to report infringement. It's crucial to act swiftly in these types of situations. For those of you who might need it, I included a link to this form below. I also emailed an IP infringement representative for Timu, whose email I will also include in the description. But I wasn't alone. I found a community of other sellers on TikTok sharing their own experiences of having their designs stolen or found on sites like Timu. It was both comforting and alarming to know that this is such a widespread issue. This led me to think about how we as sellers and creatives can sort of team you proof our Etsy shops and platforms. So here are some actionable tips and steps that you can do to help prevent this from happening in your own shop. My number one recommendation is to focus on personalization. Customization and personalization is not something that Timu really offers. So it helps set your product apart and helps prevent it from being stolen or found on sites like Timu. And I know that personalization can be intimidating and time consuming. So I do recommend utilizing services like Hello Custom that actually help automate the personalization process for you. So I'll throw Hello Custom's link below if you wanna check them out. I also have several tutorial videos that I'll link below on creating trending custom products. Another tip if you sell print and demand is to expand beyond apparel especially t-shirts, which is one of the worst offenders for finding your designs being sold on other platforms. I personally sell with Printify, a print and demand platform that prints and ships products. And they have an entire page that displays all of their best sellers, which includes a lot of items that aren't apparel, such as mugs, plush blankets, cell phone cases that I'll link for you below as well. Keep in mind that building a strong brand and a loyal customer base can really help combat these issues as well. One of the best way to build brand loyalty is through social media and email marketing. Email marketing not only helps bring in consistent additional revenue into your shop, but it also really helps build brand loyalty and recognition. And now building an email list on Etsy is very simple to do using automated services like Everbee. I will link a full step-by-step -step guide on automated email for Etsy below. Another tip to protect your Etsy shop is to use reverse image search on Google. You can upload an image of your work simply by selecting here and you can upload a file or you can paste in the image link and then you can search the entire internet for that design. I've heard of Etsy sellers finding their original work in places like eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Sheen, and of course, Timu. I understand firsthand how frustrating this can be, but together we can take steps to protect our hard work. Let's continue to support each other, share our experiences and stand up against design theft. Thank you for watching everyone. If you've ever had a similar experience or have tips to share, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Together, let's make our creative spaces safer and more respectful of our hard work. See you in the next video.